Hello viewers or listeners, welcome to Fahad's tutorial and this lecture is all about cell wall. So in following my previous classes I already explained in chapter 2 which is uh, SSC biology chapter 2 and O level biology unit 1 the title of the chapter is cells, tissues and organs but in SSC biology the chapter is all about tissues and cells. So understanding cell, in my first class I already explained what are the types of cells and what about the plant cell, what about animal cell, eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell, what about the somatic cell and gametic cell. I already discussed about the structure of cells like in two parts like we can explain cell wall and then protoplasm. Under the protoplasm we studied, there are cytoplasm, nucleus and cytoplasmic organelles. So also, before going to start a cell wall, we need to know that usually we have two different types of cells which is plant cell and animal cell. The most unique and outstanding feature of plant cell is cell wall. So at first we can say that this cell wall is um, unique, we can say unique and outstanding, outstanding feature. This is very important because we must know the feature of what? Plant cell. So what we need to know that the most important variations is not about the distinguishes between plant cell and animal cell is cell wall. At first Robert Hooke Robert Robert Hooke in 1665 at first we invented the cell wall actually which is the outermost layer of a plant cell. So understanding this words and symptoms like the cell wall is outstanding and unique feature of plant cell. So what is actually the inner structure of cell wall if we draw we must know that very frankly speaking at first we need to know that in the middle of the layer there is a middle lamella so i'm just i'm just explaining that what i'm inside of uh, the cell wall so as we know this is an inert material and if i say this is the middle middle lamella and then in between two parts there are two different sides the first layer would be the first layer would be the primary layer the first layer would be the primary layer and then from the secretion of protoplasm the secondary layer will be gradually developed so there will be three layers which is called the secondary layers and similarly there is the in other part there will be three layer which is called the secondary layer so and then after we will see there is again the primary layer and then there will be again three sequential secondary layer will be adjacent with cell wall so when we draw a cell wall, when we draw a plant cell, we know the outermost layer is called cell wall and then the inner side there is a plasma lemma. So if we see very frankly in the inner side of the cell wall we will find that this is the middle lamella and the blackish one is the primary, the primary layer the primary layer and then this three then suppose this is um, one two three we can say one two three so these three layers which is actually eroded in a red line this three is the secondary the secondary layer and in secondary layer there are three adjacent layers so we must know there are three adjacent layers and we see in the in the just in the middle of this two different layers there are a very thin area which is called pits this is pits or you can say that this is pits area 
So in this pits area, there will be a very fine, narrow connecting tubes. Suppose this is an uh, plant cell and there is an another plant cell. So in this plant cell, we know the outermost layer is the cell wall. So there will be a connecting, very fine and very smaller connecting tubes in between two different cell wall is called the plasmodesmata. So this is a very interesting characteristics of uh, cell wall because through this plasmodesmata, both the cell to maintain the transformations of materials like water and organic and inorganic materials in between each other and this is very important for for remaining the internal environment uh, for the in, in between the cells so these plasmodesmata act as a connecting pathway of different uh, two different cells so i'm just explaining very shortly in this class because I am I'm explaining this for the SSC levels students because when you'll go for A levels or even HSC level there will be a huge explanations like inner structure, outer structure and ultra structure of uh, cell wall. So I'm just removing this and in case of chemical compositions, in case of chemical compositions if I say that this is a chemical compositions and what are the chemical compositions of cell wall? This is very important. We must know that this is cellulose, cellulose and then there are hemicellulose, hemicellulose and number three, pectin, pectin, suberin lignin lignin and most importantly the very common chemical compositions of cell walls are these cellulose hemicellulose pectose lignin uh, if, uh, if i must say this is this would be pectose lignin and and suberin and most importantly in case of bacteria we can have protein lipid and even polysaccharide and even in case of fungal fungal cell wall like in case of fungus the cell wall is made up of this chitin so on your exam paper some sort of mcq can be very important that what is the compositions of bacterial cell wall then we can say that protein lipid and polymer and in case of other plant cells we know that very usual uh, chemical compositions would be like cellulose, hemicellulose, pectose, lignin, suberin and most importantly fungal cell wall is made up of chitin. So this is uh, important so we can say this is fungal cell wall and what are the best part of cell wall as we know that cell wall is made up of some inert material this is important and this is also the unique and outstanding feature of plant cell so it is made up of i have written this cellulose hemicellulose pectose lignin suberin chitin protein lipid and polysaccharide and most importantly the cell wall is formed at first the middle level in both sides there will be a primary layer and then the secondary wall will gradually develop from the secretion of protoplasm and then there will be a very thin area which is actually not covered with the plus, uh, primary layer and secondary layer. This is called the pit area or pit membrane. So we can say this is pits or pit membrane. And this pit membrane will create a very fine connecting tubes, uh, a pathway from, from another cell to another cell through the cell walls and this is called plasmodesmata. So this is also important. Plasmodesmata. So you know this is a very fine connecting tubes in between the cell wall. So in case of function, this is the structure of cell wall. In case of understanding the function, what are the main function 
of silver at first at first as it is very uh, strong and made up of with the inert materials so it gives it provides it provides the rigidity of the cell the rigidity of the cell rigidity of cells so this is the very first uh, functions of cell valve and then number two in case of understanding functions I'm just explaining the very few and important functions of cell valve number two is uh, it uh, retain it retain the size and size and shape shape of the cells retains the size and shapes of the cells so because as the cell wall is actually made up of with the inner materials and is the outermost layer of plant cell it protects it has some protective functions from the other part of the cell so it is actually the layers which is coverings or even the protection layers of the cell that's why it retains the size and shape of the cell number three it is importantly protective functions it is protective functions and and in number four we can say that that through the plasmodes matter through the plasmodes matter it maintains the water and minerals absorptions water and minerals transportations in between the cells so we can say as a functions in case of a uh, cell wall in four it maintain it maintain the transportation the transportation of water and minerals water and minerals so in short this is a very simple class on cell wall because i already said that i i say something which is normally the ssn level level students because there are a lots of things inside this structure because you you must draw those are students of english version right now uh, in my country and also outside of the country and even the O level students you need to know the drawings of the cell wall because in this chapter every single drawings are important it's it's not about only the answering the questions in the question paper but to know things uh, very truly and effectively so in case of cell wall this is a very fine part of the cell wall there is a lots of things like when I draw a cell wall the whole I just discussed only the inner side so you must know the two layers number one primary layers and also the surrounding part is secondary layers in secondary layers there are three different adjacent layers so hopefully this will be the uh, this will be the very short uh, explanation about cell wall in next class I shall be explaining about the cytoplasm, mitochondria, plastid, nucleus and ribosome. So those students right now are English version students and also O level students. Keep watching my videos and do let me know that what are your next recommendations so that I can uh, be aligned with your demands. So take care and wish you all the very best. Bye.